good morning it is bright and early at like nine in the morning and danny and i are headed to our cake tasting with nine cakes and i'm really excited i've never done anything like a cake tasting before i guess we tried like our menu for the wedding so i'm excited to do this and excited to do it with danny he has on his lacroix hat very serious driving yeah so we're headed to nine cakes i figured two in this wedding at Wedio. That actually should be the name of the wedding videos. They're Wedios. In this wedding video, I thought I would answer some random questions about wedding planning. So I'm gonna post on my Instagram. I'm about to. Asking if you guys have any wedding questions, let me know. So I'll open that up and then later today I will get some answers. <music> This is, my nails are so dirty because I gardened yesterday. This one is Funfetti Vanilla. Funfetti Vanilla. Hazelnut and chocolate, almond, rose water, vanilla, and pistachio vanilla. Okay, got it. Very excited. Okay, I'm trying Funfetti. It's just so good. I like it. It's so good. <laughs> the buttercream is really good. Okay, hazelnut, white chocolate. I like the hazelnut cake. I can't decide if the... The white chocolate? Mm-hmm. It's good. It's, it's rich. It is quite good. Like I've never had yeah. hazelnut cake. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, I kind of like it a lot. Yeah. Okay, this is it's almond cake, cake, rose water. Oh my god, it's so good. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Tastes very fancy. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's my favorite too. Okay, pistachio with vanilla. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's not... That's just not very, very subtle. Mm -hmm. So we finished the cake tasting. I think that the almond with rose water buttercream frosting was my fave and Danny's fave too, yeah? Yep. And we have to pick another flavor and we're caught between two, the pistachio and the hazelnut with buttercream or white chocolate buttercream. So many buttercream, so much yeah. cake. Gonna go get something to eat because we both feel a little crazy after eating all that sugar at 9.30 in the morning. And then answer your questions. Okay, so Abby came over and we're filming her reaction to tasting the cakes now. So I just tried this one. Yeah, what do you think it's, that one was? If you had a guess. It tastes, I think, like almond. I feel like it doesn't have a very strong flavor. Didn't really wow me. Mm. That one tastes a little bit like perfume. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Don't in a me. in a way that you like or in a way that you don't a like. A way that I don't like it actually tastes like perfume. <laughs> oh my god. Also sorry if that's your cake. <laughs> okay, I'm excited for this one because I love confetti. I wasn't my fave. Really? Mm. No. Yeah. Abby's verdict is none. Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my YouTube channel. So I am doing a, Danny and I did a cake tasting the other day and I kind of decided to film it because I thought that it was a fun process. And I also really just wanted to save the videos for myself and remember them later. I was gonna answer a few questions in this cake tasting video. So it's part cake tasting, part also just a Q and A to kind of answer some questions about wedding planning, about the wedding generally, and just kind of random questions that you had. Yeah, I just hop right into it. I look a little crazy because I have been just doing terrorist work at home. Let me just jump in and answer some of these questions. How do you stick to a budget? This has been very challenging for us actually because if you don't know anything about the wedding industry, which I didn't either before, you kind of think something's gonna cost one thing and then you find out it costs something else and you're like, oh, whoa. And you kind of just, I feel like you really need to come up with like budget and then exact, if you're gonna go over a little, exactly how much you can go over a little and think about if it's worth it to go over a little. Any cost cutting ideas for low income couples? I would say having it at a venue. I did not know that having a custom venue where you bring in like a tent and you're bringing in all of this stuff I don't know why I thought that it was like not gonna be as, as expensive as a venue. It's way more expensive than a venue. So if you have a venue, especially a venue that has like, they make food on site or something like that, that could save you a lot of money because you're not bringing someone in, paying for their tent, like all of these things. I had to pick a photographer slash videographer. This was really hard. I honestly just secured both three months before the wedding. So I'm not doing that good of a job on that one. 
A big way that I would say that you could find them is looking at bridal accounts like Beholden or David's Bridal, things like that to try to find a photographer that you like, you know, or even like a style that you like. Look at tagged photos that they're in. It'll kind of help you find someone that you like or really asking friends. That's a big thing that's helped me is asking friends if they have someone that they love, if they have a friend that has someone that they loved. And that's been really helpful. But honestly, that's been one of the trickiest things for me is hiring a videographer slash photographer and hair and makeup. I am so picky about that, so it has not been easy. Are you and Danny making most of your decisions together or does he just leave it to you? Danny and I are making all of the decisions together. One, Danny is a little bit picky. I call him Diva Danny for those of you that maybe don't know that. So Danny is a little bit he thinks he's not picky, but then like if something happens and he's like, oh, well, I wish it would have been this way. Hence why he is being very involved slash it was really important to me that I just didn't do it by myself since my mom and dad are not alive. I just kind of felt lonely doing wedding planning by myself. So it's been really important to me to have Danny really involved in the process too. Since it's not just like my big day, it is our big day. So I like that we've been planning it together. That being said, I definitely have been dealing with the stuff. Danny is, I am a very last minute person and Danny is too, but he's so last minute that if it came to like wedding invitations and things like that, it would it would never even happen. Like we would never even send invitations. Danny would just like text everyone and be like, hey, the wedding's tomorrow. So I have been dealing with that type of stuff. But as far as making decisions for the wedding, Danny has been very involved in that. Do you feel it's necessary to hire a wedding planner? I would say no, definitely not. Are you keeping your last name? This is something I've thought about a lot. I think I'm gonna do downing hyphenated Parat since my name has become so much about my career I honestly do love my last name. I think I want to kind of keep it, but I have not fully decided on that yet. When did you know the venue was the one? I wanted on a Christmas tree farm and there's not that many, it turns out. So there's one that's two hours away, which is where we're having it. And I just knew I wanted to have it on a Christmas tree farm. KJP, if you do not follow him, I will put his handle here. Got married uh, probably like three years ago now. And his wedding was beautiful. It was on a Christmas tree farm. I love Christmas and I love fall. So it just seemed like the most magical thing to me and it was kind of I didn't even have to think about it. That was like a no brainer. Is it as overwhelming as everyone says? Oh my God, yes. I don't know why, it's really dumb. It is really, 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 really stressful. I think that it's because you're spending so much money on something that you're also like, it's not like you're buying something. It's just really overwhelming. I think if you both are like working and really busy, it's just a very, very like overwhelming process where you know, you're like, oh, I'll deal with it later, I'll deal with it later. And then time flies by and you're like, you have a very small amount of time to get it done that could just be me any nyc photographer rex looking for one for my wedding next summer i actually am flying a girl from california for the wedding because i really like her style of photography i did not find an, anyone in new york that i was like fully fully in love with and i love this girl's photography so i'm really excited to work with her how did you decide on flowers i think they're all too gorgeous i have not decided on flowers that's how i've decided i am a weirdo who for weddings i don't like flowers that much you guys i don't know what's wrong with me i'm a weirdo you know i think flowers are are beautiful but I feel like with a lot of the aesthetic that we're doing I just don't think there's gonna be that many flowers there will be like a few I will answer one more question how do you deal with other people's input positive or negative I kindly do not care I just feel like at the end of the day this is something that just disclaimer Danny and I are paying for this day not any of our family members so it is a day that we're spending a lot of money on and I feel like because of that it should be exactly the way that we want it to be and so we do not not feel bad at all about making a decision that we think is best or doing what we want to do because at the end of the day it's our day that we are doing ourselves so if you have a problem with it then don't be there <laughs> i feel like the older that i get the more i kind of have that personality generally so i wanted something positive i like having your feedback i mean i want someone's honest answer about if they think something looks bad thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that answering these q a's just kind of helped give you a little bit more insight into the wedding planning process i definitely will share like a few more videos videos coming up of wedding planning and getting stuff done. I probably will make a video about the wedding invitations because that's been very stressful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.